Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy, who is it about, and we back talking sports, so, as you know, as I've said time and time again, I'm a Warriors and Pistons fan, so you're going to see me do some stories about the Pistons or the Warriors that you might not, you know what I'm saying, you might not even care, but you're going to see that on this channel because I'm a Warriors and Pistons fan. So I basically keep up with all of that. And, you know, I'm a huge, you know, Steph, I think Steph Curry is a top eight player in the world. Not in the world. I think he's a top eight player of all time. You know what I'm saying? Just in my opinion. Now, we need to talk about this. Dubs would make uh, Bob Myers highest paid in NBA GM in latest offer. So I found out, you know what I'm saying, I was going, I waited to do this because I couldn't believe what I was seeing that Bob Myers, you know what I'm saying, was thinking about leaving. So it says Warriors general manager. Bob Myers might have a major payday coming his way. That is, of course, if he chooses to sign a contract with the organization in coming weeks. Myers' contract is set to expire June 30th, as the athletic Sham Sharania and Anthony Slater reported Wednesday, citing sources. The Warriors have no substantial contract extensions talking months, and the sides are bracing for the likelihood that Myers could walk away from the franchise. While Golden State reportedly has extended multiple contracts to Myers over the past calendar year, the San Francisco Chronicle CJ Holmes reported Friday, citing league sources that one offer would make Myers the high, the high, NBA's highest paid GM. While it may not be enough to keep by Myers with the Golden State Warriors, multiple league sources t- be- t- believe that the contract offer extended to the team's president of the basketball operations would make him the highest paid general manager in the NBA, Holmes wrote. How much are the Warriors offering? Yahoo Sports' Jake Fisher reported, citing personnel that the offer is expected to surpass $10 million annual salary. ESPN, Adrian Wojnarowski reported Sunday, citing sources that Myers is torn about the decision and plans to make up his mind in the next few weeks. Myers joins the Warriors organization in 2011 as the assistant GM before he was promoted to the GM one year later. He is often credited with being the architect behind the Golden State's dynasty and universally beloved by the veteran leaders such as Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, all of whom have won four NBA championships with Myers in the Bay. Check this out, man. We can't lose him, bro. Bob Myers is essential to our dynasty you know what I'm saying? Uh, continuing. Definitely don't want to lose him, bro. Because, like I said, our dynasty is essential. I mean, he, him being there is essential to our dynasty, bro. Like, he was the architect. He put a lot of this shit together, bro. You know what I'm saying? The drafts, the, you know what I'm saying? The drafts, the the developments, the the moves here and there. I mean, the Wiggins move was genius. Won us a championship. You know what I'm saying? And I think it would be a mis- – I mean, but if they offer him, seems like they're trying to offer him something that's going to make him to be the best uh, – I mean, the hi- highest paid, you can't do anything else. I mean, if you just want to walk away, he's just going to walk away. and We're going to have to move on without him. But – Definitely don't want to lose uh, Bob Myers because we coming back next year. Everybody want to talk about oh, Golden State, you know what I'm saying? Golden State ain't been knocked out in the second round since 2014. Do you know how long ago that was? That's damn near 10 years ago. Come on now. So pipe down, bro. Dynasty ain't going nowhere. Y'all, like Draymond said, y'all said this after 2019, bro. Had to hear that shit for two years, bro. Both of my teams sucking. I can deal with the Pistons. 
You feel me? Because we've been trash. I mean, we've been trash, and we we young now. We have some promise over the last two, three years. You know, with the number one pick and had the number four pick, and now we got the number five pick. I don't know who the hell we we might get a steal. I'm saying, hopefully, we can get somebody that's a steal. But I could deal with my Pistons being trash because. We need some players. I can't deal with Golden State with Steph Curry, and you still got Draymond. We can get Jordan Poole out of there. I can't deal with them being trash, bro. They got to be championship contenders. Or else, man, I'm just watching the game for the players. And I like watching the game for my teams, which is the Pistons and the Warriors. Unless they playing each other, I root, I root for them against any team. Now, if they playing each other, of course, I'm rooting for the Pistons. Sorry, I'm straight from Detroit. But it's like, bro, I hope he doesn't leave but because we definitely need him there. So I made my prediction for next year, you know what I'm saying, after all the uh, – after whoever won the championship or whatever. But I want to see what they do in the offseason, man. I truly do. Because I don't think that dynasty over. I think Curry, Clay, and Dre, I think they, they should trade Jay Mon. I think they should. Because he going to want a max contract, and we ain't doing that, bro. He's definitely not a max player, and you know what I'm saying? He's not playing like a max player. You know what I'm saying? Clay probably going to have to come off the bench. And like I said, we might have to trade Draymond. But we definitely getting rid of Poole. That's for sure. We getting rid of Poole. He getting the fuck out of here. Like, after that performance and after him being a diva and all his behind the scenes shit, like, he got to go, bro. Like, he got to go. And Draymond... Boy, he didn't turn into a. Le- he might as well go and sign with the Lakers right now, cause that man, you on the team with Steph Curry, and all you talking about is LeBron on your damn uh podcast. Come on, bro. Like I didn't see times where he's literally playing. We playing against LeBron, and he come off the bench, and LeBron walk over and start giggling. And sm- what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like that shit irritates the fuck out of me, bro. Like. I would never see my uh, I would never see Mamba do that jump, bro. That's why I say these guys today, bro. They, bro, they too. To, to me, they too friendly for me, bro. They pick and choose who they want to go hard against and all that, and that shit is weak. I'm sorry. I grew up in the era where even the All Star game was competitive. Don't y'all remember the 2000 2001 All Star game? One of the best All Star games ever. You feel me? The 2000s when they had the East and West, you know what I'm saying? Where where they actually used to try to win the game. Now they just, you know what I'm saying, trying to put on. It's 70, you know what I'm saying? It's 70 um, alley-oops. And then people just shooting from half court. Now, it was entertaining to me when Steph hit those 16 threes because – it's Steph, and I was just like, Marvel, like, God damn, this boy, man, this dude, bro, he just ridiculous, man. That boy is cold. But besides that, bro, that shit is garbage now. The NBA All-Star game has been garbage for a long time. They just been in denial trying to change it and shit. And when they changed it to this pickup thing, it made it worse. I don't know how they thought that shit made it better. Bro, that shit made it worse to me, in my opinion. Like, team captain, man, this ain't no pickup game, man, bro. East, West, that's what I grew up on, bro. That's just my opinion. But hopefully we re-sign Myers and get shit together. If we, I feel like we're going to make a trade. This, this, you know what I'm saying? I know we're going to trade pool. There's no way that nigga stand. If, they, if we keep pool, I swear to God, bro. If we keep pool for next year, bro, I promise you. I promise you, bro. I promise you we don't make the playoffs. 
Not with that bum. He's a bum, bro. But doing that shit, bro, like, at least Draymond had some some good game. But I don't – Draymond had some good games. Jordan Poole was trash all playoffs long, bro. And I understand what Draymond did was wrong and everything like that. Speak of the devil. I understand what Draymond did was wrong and everything like that. But, bro, why are you, why are you, you bum-ass nigga, why are you letting it fuck with your fucking game, bro? The difference between this year and last year, that nigga was averaging 25-30 in the series. That's the difference. If he was doing what he was doing uh, last year, we would have beat the Lakers, even with the refs calling that the, all them bullshit calls and not giving us calls and shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, we was following a lot sometimes, but we didn't, bro, if you saw the way they was officiating us, we wasn't getting no calls, bro. I mean, they could just come up and just hit us over the, like, hit us over the head or bump the hell out of Steph Curry and get no calls, bro. It was apparent, bro. I don't care what nobody say. I watched every game of that series. They always, the Lakers always going to have more free throws. You feel me? They always going to have more free throws, bro. The Lakers is the most storied franchise, bro. I didn't watch my favorite player. They them rigged the game for him, bro. Man try to tell me they can't rig the game. No more. Yes, the f- they can, bro. They can do it in a different way. They can't do it as blatant as they do it in the 2000s. But if you think the NBA ain't rigged in some type of way, boy, you a fool. Yeah, bro, you a fool. So, I hope uh, Myers um, stay. But if he goes, I mean, we're going to have to figure something out. As long as we got Steph Curry, the Giants staying over. Now, when he retired, I'm going to still be a Warriors fan. Don't, don't, don't think that. But I'm definitely going to miss Steph Curry, though. You know what I'm saying? But I think we're going to be in good hands. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a that's a long way away. Steph still got a couple of years left. Look at this trash-ass nigga. 10 points, 34% from the field, 25% from three. That's fucking atrocious. Trade this bum-ass nigga. I'm out. This is who is him, though. Warriors. Listen, Warriors are going to make the playoffs next year for sure.